Hello everybody, and today we are not talking about chickens, the title of the Google uh, slideshow presentation that I have up here, but we're gonna be talking about Ignite presentations. Ignite presentations have been around for a while. They are essentially a way of presenting uh, material using, I use um, Google Slides, but you can use also uh, PowerPoint. It's a way of delivering material uh, very quickly over a span of five minutes. The typical Ignite format is the presenter has five minutes to deliver uh, 20 slides that auto advance at 15 seconds per slide. And that's it. So really, once you hit start, the presenter has no control over those slides. They are moving no matter what. Every 15 seconds, they click through. Um, the Ignite presentations, I use in my classroom quite a bit because it, and I modify them a little bit. Instead of five minutes, I may give students two to three minutes, just depending on what I want, and I'll have the slides auto advance as well at maybe 20 seconds per slide. It's just whatever the format we happen to decide at the time. Uh, but the key thing with these Ignite presentations is that you do not want to have that much information per slide because if the person is reading the slide, they are not listening to you and you wanna make everything nice and big. So I'm just gonna run through a slideshow that I used as an Ignite presentation. It's actually the first one that I ever made. Uh, and it was about raising backyard chickens. So you can see that I keep everything nice and bold, easy to see, but will really rely on me presenting to get the person through the slide. Now, some of the things with these slideshows is that if I have nothing to say, that slide does not move. It sits there and waits until finally it goes to the next one. So you kind of, you really need to kind of know what you're presenting about, which is nice, which makes it great in a classroom setting because if the students have no clue what they're talking about, well, then they are stuck up there, all eyes on them with nothing to say. Uh, the flip side is that, is if you put too much information on a slide, then students will end up reading off of it and then they can get cut off midstream of a slide. So you can see here that pretty much I just have very, basic information on each slide and hopefully I know enough about each one that I can get that 15 seconds through the slideshow. And you just kind of keep moving through. I like slideshows that are pretty bold and very easy to see and I try to keep the font as large as possible so people can see it, but that is it. Now to set it up for auto advancing is real simple. This is kind of like the magic behind all this. You're gonna go to File and this is for Google Docs, Publish to Web. Now, when you go in here, you can see that you can make the slides auto advance. So I can go to 15 seconds and I can change the parameters. I can start the slideshow as soon as the player opens or restart the slideshow after the last slide. That is up to you. It depends on what's going on. This link right here, so I'm gonna control C, copy that link. Now, when I go to bring this into a new window and we bring it up, you can see that slide, the player automatically loads and that I have a number of options, but let's just click play. So if we time it now, this slide should last for 15 seconds. Now, when I have students make these, I tell them the first slide counts. It's not a title slide. It is a title slide plus also information or a way to introduce yourself. So you need to have 15 seconds worth of material there. And you can see I didn't do anything and it's auto advancing all by itself. So here, with this slide, same thing. It would go automatically into the slide. So it helps students really develop skills to kind of transition from slide to slide and not just get cut off, but leave that time for it to go. So you can see no hands, they're auto advancing. That is pretty much how you make an Ignite presentation. What is nice about using this on Google Docs? One, uh, basically once you have the link, you're good to go. You can also quickly see in the link that it says 15,000 milliseconds here. So you know that the rate that it's auto advancing at uh, even before you actually do it. Sometimes that's a pitfall of students. They forget to change that setting and you may see, I don't know, 3,000 or 5,000 if they set it for three to five seconds or whatever the default is. And that's pretty much it. That is how you set up an Ignite presentation, what it is, and uh, kind of how I use it in the classroom. Pretty much any time I have students presenting, I'm using an Ignite presentation. It is the easiest way to kind of keep everything at a nice pace. You don't have groups that drone on for too long, and then you just don't have ones that kind of blast through their material real quick and get off the stage. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed this little tutorial on how to set up Ignite using Google Slides. Take care.